Hello fellow candle connoisseurs, this is Candace bringing you another review. This time it is for Homeworks 4 Wick 18 ounce candle in the scent Kitchen Herbs. The scent notes are Bay Laurel, Fresh Thyme, Sage, and Fresh Mint Leaves. Uh, please ignore all the stuff that's in the shot. Um, I just have everything on my dresser all together. But anyway, um, this candle for me is an oddity. And I'm going to explain that to you. Um, I'm in the Facebook group um, for Homeworks. And when I first got this candle, I don't even know why I got it in the first place because um, herbs is not a scent that I would ever get. So I don't even know why I got this. It must have been a as is or something and I just got it. But anyway, um, when I went on the Facebook uh, book group, I was asking everyone, what does this smell like? Because I hadn't received it yet. And everyone said grass. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wasted my money on a freaking grass candle. And, um, cause I definitely don't like the smell of grass, period. So I get this and on cold sniff, I hated it. I went back to the group and I started bitching about it. I said, I'm going to do it as a giveaway. And, um, and then I decided, okay, I'm going to burn one of them cause it was a set of two. So I burned one, still didn't like it. It smelled just like freaking grass. So I was so angry. Um, and then, I don't know, I gave it another try and I burned it a few more times. And then that like pure grass scent went away and I ended up loving this darn candle. This candle, um, you really get everything that it's saying. You get that mixture of herbs. The first couple of burns, it does smell mainly like a grass scent but then the mint really starts to come out and it's not like a really minty scent. So um, I don't think that, but the mint really balances out the other herbs. So it just takes enough of that grassiness away to just really balance it out and make it really nice. It's a really refreshing candle. Um, I'm gonna say you're really gonna want to burn this in the spring and the summer um, as you know, I don't go by seasons with a candle. I'll burn a Christmas candle in the summer. Um, I just don't go by that stupidity. Um, if you like a candle, you just burn it whenever you want to. But, um, just for sake of reviewing, I'm saying it is a spring summer candle. Um, this is nice. And it's so funny because a candle I absolutely hated with scents that I would never ever think about buying. This ends up being one of my favorite Homeworks candles of all times. Um, it is very nice. I love it. Um, I'm almost done with it. I'll show it to you. I just now lit it like three minutes ago when it's already pulling out. It burns awesomely. It pulls out good. The flames are really high. Um, it actually burns really hot, so this candle, you cannot um, burn it for several hours. Um, I'm probably able to burn it about two hours, and it just gets too hot. But it's so refreshing. It's just a really good, refreshing candle. It's one of these candles that if you're in, like, a bad mood and you just want to relax and, you know, put on some soothing music this is the perfect candle. This is a perfect like spa candle. Um, this would be great for your powder room. Um, it's definitely guest friendly. Something you might want to uh, light if you're like have maybe a baby shower or something. Um, just a really like to get into a relaxing mood. If you want to do some yoga or something, this is just like the perfect candle for that or taking a bubble bath. It's that type of candle. Um, like I said, you get all the scent notes, you get that uh, thyme, you get the sage, you get the bay laurel. It's just a well-balanced. 
the mint though, it really, really brings it all together and it's not an overpowering mint. So like I said, this went from hated it, was bitching, was gonna give it away to being one of my favorite candles. Um, let's go back to performance and throw in everything. Um, as you could see, as I showed you, the flames are high, it burns hot, so you can't burn it too long. Um, the throw is awesome. I use it in my bedroom, so I would give it a good eight in my bedroom. Um, the throw is strong. The strength, um, is pretty strong too. Uh, it, it's perfect. I would say the strength's about an eight two in the bedroom. Open concept, I think you're going to go a bit lower. I think you can still smell it in open concept, but I think it would probably drop down to maybe a five um, in, a open, in a big open concept area. But I still think you can smell it, and if you got a couple of them, it would be perfect. Um, I can really kick myself in the butt. I would love to have a bunch of backups of these because it is just that darn good. Um, so, you know, sometimes when you're getting a candle, go out of your comf comfort zone. Get something that you normally wouldn't try because this is something that I definitely normally would never have bought. Um, I'm a, like a gourmand type scent person and apple, like apple's my all-time favorite type of scent like cider lane is everything so this was totally off my radar and now it's like my one of my favorites so this is a definite yes i highly recommend this hopefully uh, harry will bring this back next year if he does i'm going to get a whole bunch of them um because it is freaking awesome so i'm glad to get it something in the wind column and um it's just great, everyone. Like I said, it's definitely going to be awesome uh, in your bedroom, powder room, and you're still going to be able to smell it in an open concept room as well. So that's about it, guys. Please check out my past videos and my upcoming videos. And um, as soon as I hit that 200 subscriber mark, I'm going to do another giveaway. So thank you, guys, and I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are.